The idea for this show, Dueling Divas, came about in 2003. We had just performed a three Sopranos event, and we decided we needed more stage time, so we cut a diva. get into the theater and you get on stage and it all comes together, it's just magic. It doesn't matter how much we rehearse, there's always new discoveries and that is something I love. in the Grand Duchy of Schnitzelovia, beautiful little country, in Blanjapest Chibrat, next to the Giveteresht Mountains. And I was lovely little village girl, very beautiful, you understand? <laughs> my first concert tour of your great land. <laughs> you see, but I love your country. I have visited it often. I ask my manager if he can find young American soprano. Good, you know, not too good. Pretty, not too pretty. And he gave me this glandoline, Josephine Belevoix-Bouvier. I signed five-year contract. I've been doing this too long. I can't get rid of her. I'm stuck. myself. Well, how far back would you like me to go? Let's see now. My mama, Birdie Magnolia, married Bocephus Xavier Bouvier III and moved to Granddaddy Bunch of Bucks' thoroughbred farm in Bortush, Louisiana. And that's where I was born, in Bortush. But like many generations of Bouvier women before me, I took my learning in Paris. Well, France, of course. At that great institution, the Upright School for Refined Girls. <laughs> Terrifying piece. Not for the reasons you think, either. Oh, I'm not afraid to stand on stage with the woman. I can hold my own, I assure you. However, Vladka's a little too fond of her vodka. You know what I mean? The most difficult thing working with the divas is their temper tantrums and their squabbles. I never really know from day to day who's mad with who and why. 
So I'm constantly having to read the environment between them and kind of get a sense of the psychological space between them. And it's tough because I have to be not only the pianist but the psychologist. Well, I'm a pretty spontaneous person, but I've never had to be as spontaneous as I've had to be with the divas. So I enjoy the surprises that come with every performance. No, no, I must tell the truth about Baron and what I did to him with those mushrooms. Oh, my God! Only those worse things than mushrooms. What could be worse? Not having your wig on in front of a live audience. <laughs> that would be... that... that... I thought that this, the music was beautiful, I thought it was funny, I thought there was a lot for everybody, even those people who didn't know opera. It has a little bit of, of every opera that you would be familiar with, and at the same time, it has a lot of stuff that's universal, you know, people are fighting, people are trying to be more important than the other one, competition, self-confidence issues, all sorts of things. We enjoyed it I've never seen anything like this before. This is uh, my first performance of a live opera, whatever, but it was wonderful. We, we enjoyed it and we would come back again. I thought at first it was going to be a bit of a gag, but uh, they're incredible. The comedy has just snowballed out of control, and now I think it's taken over. <laughs> I thought it was wonderful. I have to tell you, I love the arts, I love opera, and I had, you know, at the beginning I said, you know, oh my gosh, but it was absolutely wonderful. I mean, you get, at the very beginning of all the arias, you get all excited because they're going to go into the aria, and you're going to think, you're going to, oh my gosh, I thought she needs la bohème. But it was so much fun. I have to say, I went 